All right. There we go. Hey, there's hello, no one in the hello. chat, so I think we should just go ahead and call it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. We'll, uh, <laughs> well, let's, before we do that, let's say some bad stuff about people. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I do see, and Greg, I know you can see it too up in your window there. There are six people watching. They're just not talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and then when someone does finally talk, it's Kelly giving a shit. Yeah. Uh, we time. are right on time. We I clicked the thing at five after six, like we always do. <laughs> Pixel Torium's here. Oops. Did I did I give away secrets? Oh. It's Derek. <laughs> Derek. Oh. See, all we have to do is point out that we can see that people are watching and not chatting, and suddenly we get everybody. Hey, how's it going, Livewire? Hey, <laughs> Mr. Livewire. Yes, Jay happy America Easter. 15. Happy Easter. Yeah. Happy I'll Easter. Drink to that. Yep. Happy Easter. I'm drinking this straight to this <laughs> time, not on the rocks or not, just straight water. I ain't messing straight around. Water. I wish I hadn't have seen that because I usually bring a pop down here with me, and I'm thirsty. It's warm here in the Kansas City area, and I know it's even warmer down in Texas. My God, we got almost up to 80 degrees in the humidity, but it was beautiful. I enjoyed it. I sat out on the deck for two or three hours today. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. You know, it actually wasn't super hot here today outside, but when the sun did get up, come out, it just cooked the trailer in here. I mean, it's 82 outside. But it was it was eighty seven when I got got out here. Let's see. I'm trying to catch up. We got. I got that joke, <laughs> Dirk. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Enjoying a little bourbon. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> oh, the wife and I went to. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if you saw it when you were here, Bart, or if it was open then, but they opened a winery, real nice, fancy place, not about half a mile from the house. And uh, I've been avoiding it because of the medications I'm on. I told you I'm not supposed to drink much. But the other day, it was just beautiful. Another beautiful day. We've just been so beautiful. But we went up there, and, uh, of course, they got an outdoor patio. It was just perfect. And we took Betty up there with us, and we sat on the outdoor patio and had a couple glasses of wine, and they had a guy that was... Uh, I was singing some, like, easy 80s type of music up there. Just a guy, acoustic guitar, and singing it. I don't know. It was a good time. So, mention about nice. having some bourbon. We had some wine and some good music. And it was fun. Good times. Operation Shutdown. Hey, Happy Operation Shutdown. Happy. We're here every holiday, right? Been here for Christmas, New Year's, St. Patrick's Day, and now Easter. Yeah, we, we're here right? all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is it? which episode this is episode 49 and i was yep, thinking about this earlier today is it now bart the only one that hasn't missed or poe have you also not missed one or did oh you i missed any? uh they were digging in my heart at one point but i did watch live that day yeah he I was, was, I was <laughs> through the heart he monitor right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a near miss because I was at the football game, but but I you still... came, but you made an appearance, yeah, yeah. But uh, we're coming up, we're coming up on a year, and I'm really gonna put my best foot forward to try to come up with something and maybe get together with these guys. You and I can, you and all of us can meet off of here sometime before our 52nd week, and maybe we can discuss some something big. I don't know. We're yeah. coming a year. Can you believe it? One whole year. A whole year. Yeah, there you go. If you guys show up and you're in the chat, you're in the drawing for Greg's Stranger Thing pinball machine for our sure. year anniversary. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure, yeah. Oh, and he'll funny. ship it for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, that's not going anywhere, but uh, I don't know we can come up with something. You know, speaking of getting things, too, I always forget stuff. You know, uh, have you ever seen, uh, you, I think we're all Switch owners, you know, the Joy-Cons. You ever see them marked down below $79 ever? Ah, uh, The no. official. I can't believe it. Sam's Club now has them for 66 or 66 I bought another set just... 
and it was stupid. I didn't really need them, but when they were below retail, I said, I got to have these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to screw Nintendo and give them some more of my money just because they're <laughs> cheap. <laughs> but what's funny about it is, is you know, my, my Switch, the right one is red and the left one's blue. So when you buy this aftermarket set, you can have them reversed or you can put two red ones on or two blue ones on because the way they're reversed. So, I don't know. I just, okay, that's enough of that. Nobody cares. But I just thought it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the whole premise of our show. Yeah. Uh, nobody cares, but we're going to say it anyway. That's yeah, yeah. You know, like Seinfeld was like, oh, that's about nothing. We're just the show. Yeah, nobody cares, but we're going we're gonna to say it anyway. That's yeah. why people come. They, they we cover all it. things. Sometimes we get the games, but mostly we cover all the rest of the things. So. Right. 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 Yeah. right. <laughs> so uh, did you guys have any uh, – I know, Poe, you had some family come in for the big Easter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my daughter's still here. They're they're in the house. I'll probably have to play Mario Party again <laughs> tonight. <laughs> oh, you know that fun, it, that game was fun the first five to ten rounds, but when it's a twenty round game and there's three of you plus the computer going, it's, it takes hours to play through one of those. Yeah, I, I would imagine. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's cool though. You're. Because you soon here your uh, your boy's gonna be shipping out. Well, that's that's Navy talk shipping out. I don't know. Do you call it shipping out. What do you call it when you're in the uh, Air Force? He's flying out. He's flying out. <laughs> He's flying out. <laughs> Fluttering flaming. away. Is, is he flaming out? Flaming out. Flaming out. <laughs> but uh, so the boy will be gone. So is this one of the last uh, hurrahs for you to play those games with both? Kids? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to make a video. I was working on a video yesterday, but then whenever uh, my daughter showed up, that was it. Video's done. I'll finish that up sometime this week. As I, and also, his recruiter is in the mall, the Monroeville Mall I've talked about several times. The recruiter station's there. So he has to meet with his recruiter again on Tuesday at 4 o'clock. And I said, well, since there's a movie theater in that mall, why don't we just go see Ghostbusters at one o'clock and then head over and see your recruiter so that'll be our last chance to see something together on the big screen before he leaves too that's cool yeah. nice you need to nice. you need to do as much as you can before he goes bo you'll you'll regret not doing it i mean it, it'll be big experience in his life but letting him out of the nest man he's leaving <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> good kid good kid good kid yeah yeah thank you yeah he's the best it's funny we're spaced out just about right here because my boy shipped out he went into the navy of course he did six years and he's already gotten out now your boy's going in if he does you know four to six years by the time he gets out it'll be mike's boy's turn yeah we'll, we'll just go right <laughs> <in the wall. laughs> so, so Mike, Man, Tra travis travis was in the navy no travis no he wasn't he'd kill me he was in the army he got out <laughs> and uh micah micah was in the navy he got out and then went back in the Coast Guard, so he's still in. Nice. Nice. Well, maybe all of our, our boys can get together and have their own show where they talk about nothing, too. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at, look at who's here. Chaos. He's got the thumbs up and the beer. The Easter tradition. <laughs> You know, Tra Travis can't. Travis comes over usually on Sunday. Uh, we didn't have a bunch of people over today, but he came over today, and it did go live. And uh, we had some fun playing uh, Mario Golf together. So uh, that was he s smoked me too. If you watch the video, it just I kept telling, him, "Come on, give me one more chance." And I could. <laughs> right, right. That's that's pretty typical. Uh, Jay America wants to know, Greg, what version of Stranger Things pinball is that? Well, I don't know quite know how. To, I mean, it's the Stranger Things pinball. It's it's got the latest firmware in it, which I don't yeah. remember the numbers. But I mean, it's the it's the only <laughs> stern Stranger Things pinball there is. I mean, yeah. Well, do they uh, have like the different variants, the pro and the? Oh, that? yeah. It's the yeah. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's the pro. Yeah. No, what, what, oh, yeah. Nice. The, what's the, what's the high one? I, I forget the, yeah. the pros. The, the pros, the middle I, of the road one, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. 
Pro yeah. <laughs> is it the collectors? <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm gonna. Now you're gonna make me go look at it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> an old guy to remember it's, stuff. I don't. Know. It's Pro Premium or Limited Edition. <laughs> Pro Operation <laughs> Shutdown said, uh, "If he could survive Monroeville Mall, basic training will be easy." <laughs> yeah, it's, that's it's true. The, it, it's the Pro Edition. And now oh, that okay. I remember what the difference is, it's the Pro Edition, but I upgraded everything on it to be like the top end one, except for the movie, the uh, projector that projects a movie on the screen. Because I put the black lights in, I put all the, I put all the, I added all the options, but I didn't want that camera, because they say if that camera goes bad, you can't get another one. Oh. So, so. And it's Makes when that, that screen now has just something painted on it, whereas when the game's playing on the luxury edition, it's got video from the movie showing on that TV screen. But they, a lot of people were complaining. They said, well, what's the plans of Stern always having that in stock? And nobody can answer that. And they said, well, I ain't buying that. Right. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, so... Uh, you have, it's a fun you have, table. Yeah, it is. It is. I've played that table. I've played that exact table. <laughs> uh, we don't want to get started. Kelly will start bringing up scores and stuff, so we don't want to get too far into this. Mike, uh, did you have anything go on today for the big Easter holiday? Uh, well, no, not today. I had something happen yesterday. I was uh, messing with the MetaQuest 2. I don't know if you guys saw the text on that. Uh -huh. So I had to bring everything over to the email and uh, I got on and I was like, whoa, there's a mirror here. So I went and approached myself on the mirror on the game and I kind of looked at my avatar. I'm like, wait, last time I checked, I didn't have any uh, breast. So for <laughs> some reason, I don't know if Mark Zuckerberg thought it'd be cool to put breast on my avatar. I, I had to change that. Yeah, I was like, mm, no, no, no. So yeah, I had to straighten that character out because it's that was weird. It was a dude with breast on there, so <laughs> changed it back back to normal. I'm, I'm telling you, that's another one of those times. I thought Poe was kidding. He said he fired off an email to Zuckerberg and said, "Hey, <laughs> you do something about Mike's boobs." <laughs> <laughs> hey, looky who's here! Looky who's here! Uh, hey, Tony! Tony yeah. from across the pond and up north yeah wow. yeah see that you, you do an easter show you bring people from all over the place yes <laughs> yeah As, oh. tony i just gotta ask him you still uh, doing any uh european truck i have not messed with my europe i've just got back into doing some uh american truck but i haven't even <laughs> turned on the european truck simulator right i don't know i think it's funny he, he's probably back wanting to know when we're starting our next big 10 week pinball tournament. So he can put some spankings on us. Um, I, I'd like to do that again. I'd like to do that. Yeah. It, it'll be coming up here. <laughs> yeah. That arcade time capsule. Man. Let's see what we got. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Mike. It's a safe space. We're not here. <laughs> well, I was kind of enjoying it. I was kind of doing the, like this. On my avatar, and like no, no, I got, I got to stop that. Got to stop that. So I changed change it back. To a bikini or something first. <laughs> Check the jiggle physics. See. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny stuff. But yeah, uh, so you didn't you didn't really have any uh, you didn't have any family or anything come in for the holiday. No, nobody came today. Uh, yeah, and also when I tried dropping my son off, apparently he doesn't have any uh, gr uh, his group that he hangs out with. So I had to bring him back, and he's on this computer right now. So, but yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kelly, she knows how to test those jiggle physics. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much the same here. It was just uh, me and Kelly and Shelby, like always, and. I, I actually, I didn't even think about it. Kelly was talking about while we were at work, something about making, uh, she did make some ham and 
stuff like that. I don't know, uh, Easter dinner. But I was like, oh, I thought we were just getting a pizza at Sunday night. I don't know. what's a, That's what we always do. We get a pizza on Sunday night. So, <laughs> but I yeah, asked, so she made a little... She made a little dinner just for the three of us. So that was nice. nice. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's all that that, there. We'll end that uh, the Easter talk can end with a happy Easter operation shutdown. That's that says it all. That says it all. Uh, (laughs) It's this one. Peace and love. Okay, we'll go with peace and love. So. uh, So what else we got? We got the uh, we did two tournaments this week. Greg, you did a pinball tournament. And yeah, let me get those results. Okay, while well, you're pulling that up, we'll go ahead and go over. Poe, you picked the big gun smoke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stupid game. <laughs> yeah. And, I uh, liked it. I liked it. I thought it was kind of, I didn't do very good, but it was kind of a cool game. Greg didn't do very good. That's an understatement, but that's okay. That's okay. You showed up. Um, I, I don't have a way. I'm not as fancy as Mike. I don't know how to share this screen. Uh, so I'm just going to read this off where it finished off. Uh, Gunsmoke Mike Seavey, the Gaming Road Warrior, came out on top 48,400. Only 40,000 ahead of Greg. Uh, Mr. Livewire, he came in second at 38,9. Nice. I was I was in third at 29,100. <laughs> You can tell by Mr. Postal's reaction right now. <laughs> he came in fourth at twenty nine thousand zero hundreds. <laughs> One hundred points separated yeah, me and Mo. <laughs> and uh, I was surprised. I thought Mo was going to put in the uh, disc. He just left. He's out. <laughs> but, yes. I thought he was going to put in the, uh, at the end of the day, he was going to say, no, it was uh, Price is Right rules. It's the close, closest to 29000 without going over. So he wins. Um, <laughs> but uh, Decon 52 was behind Poe at 26050. Retro Bliss at 17.9. And uh, Greg G. Parker had 8300 Uh I want to say that uh, Chaos said he, he got like fifteen thousand something like that, which is respectable. He didn't post his he didn't post his score, so we ain't counting it. Uh, uh, Mike's game. <laughs> yeah. Poe po was so cool. Poe, if you guys didn't check out the Discord, Poe was so disgusted with his almost get me by by a hundred points behind. He flipped off the cat the game when he. So he, he gave the bird to the picture that he uploaded showing his score. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Oh, you're supposed to sandbag in the practice round, not the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> 100 points. Yeah. That was that was close. That was close. And uh, that's a great game, though, Mike. 48,000. That's a yeah. – because that's a tough game. That is yeah, a tough – I had never played it before. Had you played it before, Mike? Uh, on the original Nintendo, not the arcade game. So, but yeah. I did, I did when I was playing. I played on my arcade machine, and luckily it's a Street Fighter, so I had the three buttons. Right. I couldn't imagine playing with just two; <laughs> that'd be chaotic. Yeah, on right. the 1943, it's got uh, that game on it, but it's like, oh, I only got two buttons for, so I had to play on the Street Fighter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then Poe posted a picture, which again, I don't know how to. I got to figure out how to. Scare. I guess when you have at the arcade, it looks like not only do you have the three buttons, but you can use combinations to shoot. Like if you push just the left button, it shoots at a, like a forty-five. But if you hit the yeah. left and forward, it, it shoots at a less of an angle. I did not know that. Um, I knew that. I knew that. I knew. That. Well, yeah, he's he's carrying dual um, revolvers, so. Yeah, I I didn't know you could hit two buttons at once. I never, I guess I, I, I never tried it. I was just I knew all, I knew all that because that's how I did so good. No, oh, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is deceiving. Greg's score was what eight thousand three hundred, but that's because he rolled it over. It it only goes up yeah. to a million, then it starts over. So that's a one million eight thousand three hundred. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are right. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> you guys are right. Chaos said something. 
he has the X button on the switch and it shoots left and right at the same time at an angle. That would be equivalent to pushing, yeah, both the left and right buttons on the arcade game. It shoots two shot two shots at an angle. I didn't what see if, I didn't see a have... Derek score on there. Where's where's Pixel Toria? I didn't see Derek score on Gunsmoke. So by default, Greg, you didn't come in bottom because Derek is at no. zero. No, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I should have put him on the spreadsheet. That's a good thing. <laughs> All the people that normally play but don't, if they take a week off like Derek didn't play, I'm going to put him on there with zero. So it just looks <laughs> bad. I'm going to call people out. I, it's it's way at the top. Yeah, yeah. We we know we know Derek. We know. I knew that Derek. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, um, Greg, did you were you able to pull up the uh, results yeah. on your pinball? Yeah, it timed out, but here I got it back. Here we go. First, play, <laughs> first maze, Mister Live Wire, nineteen seventy. Oh, and this is on. Uh, oh, what was the game? <laughs> <laughs> El Dorado. El Dorado. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mister Live Wire, uh, sixteen million. Uh, Hollywood Polo, great score of 13 million, 10 million with Pixel Torium. Okay, he's there at the top three. Post style, number four, 9 million. Off grid arcade, 7 million. Uh, a guy named Gregory, not me, but he's been around, 4 million. Uh, Pulp Fiction, 2 million. And then I, got a, I had to do it in two different images because there wasn't enough room. And so, uh, Pulp Fiction, then G Parker. On the cabinet and G Parker with three million and G Parker on the switch with one million nine hundred thousand. So I played on both, um, and I, I guess no, I guess it's the switch that I did the better score on. So go figure. Nice, yeah. I, I, now I didn't, and again, I didn't hear a uh, uh, Mrs. OGA Kelly didn't play, so she's got a zero. So the bot, right. the last place was sealed up with a giant goose egg. That's so, right. Uh, yeah, so Chaos is going to go through the eShop and get him some Mouser. And reminds him of Donkey Kong climbing and dodging bombs, catching mice. I don't, I don't guess I've ever played that. I, well, maybe. I'd have to see it. I'd have to see it. I'm getting to that age. I have to see stuff. I'll be like, I never played that. And I turn it on. Oh, shit, I've played this a lot of times. I, <laughs> I just forget. But, uh, yeah, well, I wonder what happened to Poe. He Poe decided maybe the kids came down and said, "Dad, we're playing now. Let's go." Uh, or he's just really pissed off about that gun smoke. <laughs> you know, not only did he post that picture flipping off the screen, and I reminded him immediately, "You picked the game, Poe." <laughs> he, he's like, he's like, this game, this game. It's like you picked it. Uh, yeah, Kelly totally forgot five. Four faiths, palms, and uh, I don't know what. <laughs> Mike's gaming gal, you teased him too hard. There's there's no such thing as teasing Poe too hard. He takes everything pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so, all right. Uh, I was going to say uh, Poe has a video, but we should probably not play it while he's gone. Sure. But uh, Mike, did you pick? Are you picking the, the game for this week? Yeah, yeah, it's my turn. All right, what are we playing? Yeah, I picked uh, Contra Hardcore for the Sega Genesis, which, if you got the Switch, you should be able to play it. It's on the Genesis Online Gaming. Okay. So it's... Let me see. Well, I can't type. Can you type that in the chat, Greg? Sure. Oh, you want Greg? Sure. Well, uh, go go I ahead, Mike. Greg... I can't even remember. Oh, okay, well, sure. If... I just think if Greg type, I was just saying because Greg, I think oh. if you type it, it goes to everyone's channels. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, Greg. okay, I'll do it. <laughs> You'll have to do okay. it. <laughs> uh, so the game uh, is a console game. Sega yep. Genesis. Okay, everything I just typed didn't work. What the hell is going on with the keyboard? Okay. Mike's gaming gal is a tough game. That's that's <laughs> pretty much the way these go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, my goodness. What's going on with this computer, Mike? Oh, cool. I'm getting it. Sent Mike, Greg, Bart, and Derek a little game for Easter through Steam. Bio. Oh, well, that's cool, Livewire. You didn't have to do that. That's awesome. Yeah, huh? thanks, Livewire. I'll drink a beer later for you. <laughs> okay, console challenge for this week is Contra, C-O-N-T-R-A. Yep. And then Hardcore. <laughs> Greg, just, <laughs> Greg just booted himself out of the screen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't touch anything. He's not even in the green room. Here he comes. Here he comes back. Greg, <laughs> I didn't do that. I swear. No, Greg. I'll tell you what. I, I I apologize, but I cannot. Am I even in the stream? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're. See, I, I, what am I looking here you at? Go. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. I can't type in the chat because I've got oh. hotkeys set up. Some some hotkey in here. Okay. When I started filling it out, it, it dumped me right out of the system. I'm, I'm I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in the private chat so you can see how it's spelled. Contra hardcore. Sega Genesis. Yeah. If you put it in the private chat, I can copy and paste it yep. to this maybe. I might have spelled Genesis wrong. How do they spell? I got uh, it. I put it in private. Okay. There we go. Oh, well, yeah, I did spell it wrong. Hardcore that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. the way Greg did it. So, ignore mine. It's this one. Contra hardcore. Sega Genesis. Yes. So. Uh, oh, you'll also no continues. No, yeah, no continue. <laughs> All of these yep. things are always like the one quarter kind of idea. You play one yep. game, however many lives you get, you die, you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. you can you can have the whatever's the default on the Genesis on the lives. You can have those, but no uh, doing a continue on it. Right. Don't don't continue. Yep. yep. Well, I'm actually, and I apologize for that. I, like I say, I've changed to a new system, and I've got my OBS set up with hotkeys and something. When I was typing, something just threw me way somewhere. So yeah, I'm you were this. you were clean out. You were even out of the green room and everything. I'm yeah. like, wow, <laughs> Greg's pissed. He's like, I'm done. I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking for this contra hardcore though, because I was going to show it to everybody. It's it nope, is nope. in, yeah. It it is in the uh, expansion pack, huh? Yeah, that's what I saw when I was like looking up the games on the Switch for the Genesis. That it there? Yep. There you go. So there it is. There on the expansion pack for Sega Genesis on the Nintendo Switch. So nice. can, uh Greg, can you go and look up uh go to the options on it so we can see how many lives you get? Sure, let's see. I think to get options I hit these two. Nope. That's not it. This yeah, just button. hit start. Yeah there it is. Down there to options. Go. Okay. Uh come on. And A Hey, yep. no, I think I'm going to hit plus. Yeah. Players three. Yep, three. Okay. Don't alter okay. it. <laughs> there we go. Three lives. No cheating. Yeah. Yeah, if you're using it, you got to remember the plus sign, you don't hit A. You move with your joystick and you hit A to hit do the a plus to do the entry. So, there you go. All right. Well, I'll back out of there. Let me uh, Let me get back here. There. Okay. Good deal. All right. And then for all of you folks that don't know, everyone knows already, but post your, uh, take a picture of it. Post a picture in our, in our Discord. Uh, there should be actually on uh, Greg and I, our live stream going on right now in the description, there should be a link to our Discord. And if not, every one of our videos has that. Uh, 
Uh, Chaos is saying, can we use any character we want? Yeah. All That's right. Fine. Yeah. And I'm going to use the uh, Mike Seaweed with Boobs avatar from <laughs> the Quest if I can import it. <laughs> that that is the most epic character, so I would That's agree not... to use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now, uh, what what did we decide on these? I don't mind doing these pinball tournaments each week just for giggles because I didn't have a problem doing it this week. There's not that many people getting in, but what do we decide? Uh, you notice I've got my switch able in here to cross over onto the stream, which was right. kind of fun getting that. But is there a problem setting up the pinball tournament on the switch? I remember there's some reason why we didn't like doing that, right? Well, anyone that plays on Xbox or PlayStation wouldn't be able to find it. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of in this. Unless you, now, of course, if you play Star Wars or Marvel, then you have to set up a separate switch anyway because they don't have, they won't play with anybody. Right. But yeah, like I said, I guess I could have done this too, Mike. You could have just typed it, and I could have just put it on the screen instead of doing all that making Greg. Well, it was more fun to make Greg kick himself out. So yeah, that was, that was <laughs> actually. I, I think it's the A button. I'm afraid to hit it again. I'm gonna hit it again anyway. No, it's not the A. I don't know what it was. It was something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's why you were setting it up on uh, Steam, Greg, is so that people could play from the different consoles. Well, I uh, think we'll just. I think this way we'll just. This week we'll just play Stingray. You'll have to come oh. over here and put a quarter in the son of a bitch. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll <laughs> make some go. money and. Yeah, well, I think I have Stingray on VPX, so I, I'll I'll play that way. I'll cheat, but it's more fun to come to your house and play it though. Yeah. But, yeah, I gotta get I gotta get more of my VPX. Man, my whole pinball thing is all screwed up. Uh, I don't know if you saw my pinball live thing the other day. I started out and. Since I rehooked up my flight stem stuff, uh, I guess it screwed up my, you know, because the pinball table has the joystick. It basically thinks it's a joystick when you're pushing the buttons, and suddenly none of my buttons were working. I'm I'm going live, and I'm like, I can't start the game. What's going on? And two of the buttons that I use for my nudge buttons, it's like they're not even being detected now. So I gotta I gotta look at that and see what happened why i can't find all my buttons but uh yeah no no continues chaos that, that's okay. a hard no if anybody <laughs> watched my premiere coming back to drive an american truck simulator which by the way i've shot another one i just haven't edited it and released it yet but if you watch that one i did it in two segments because i had run into town so i just stopped the game and started recording again you notice in the first segment i'm complaining that a lot of my keys are operating funny. You know, my uh, stream deck and all that. I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out what was wrong because I checked all the settings. Everything was perfect. Well, I, that machine was the one that I was originally setting up pinball and pouring tables on and stuff. And I had it auto-launching Joy to Key. And every time I started the truck sim, I'd have to remember to shut that down. Well, I didn't shut it down, so... It's telling you every time you hit a button, sometimes it would say that's hitting the letter N or the letter something that does something. So I just shut that off and everything worked fine. But I was so afraid that I was going to have to go through and reset all the settings in there. Right. It was just a simple fact of. Uh, yeah, I did the same thing. I, I found out the hard way. I had Joy to Key running. And uh, I, I think it was whenever I would honk my horn on the truck it would look out the left window or something. I'm that's, like, what is it? What is it doing? I'm just, cause I use that head tracking. I'm like, I did not move my head. What's going on? <laughs> and I finally figured <laughs> out. So I, don't, so I only turn on joy to key when I play pinball. Cause it's all the same system. You know, you can kind of see better now cause where I got the camera, like I'm sitting here, flight sim, my, my yoke is right in front of me. I turn here, I drive and right here's the pinball machine. The CPU is sitting right here that runs drives all of it, so it's all the same computer, 
So I have to turn on Joy the Key just for the joy for the pinball, or, or it messes everything else up. Greg's had enough. Greg's leaving. He's going to find Poe. <laughs> Greg, Greg said, maybe Poe's knocking on the door. That's what it was. <laughs> Poe was going to come and check out that Stranger Things pinball to see what that camera was that Greg was talking about. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, impressive. Most impressive. Yeah, it's like a one-stop shopping right here. Drive, fly. Pinball. Oh, there it is. There, there's the real thing. I was close. It, it wasn't Poe. It was Betty. Yeah, she came down to, she came down there to see me, and I had to get it. She was looking at me like, "Come get me, Daddy." So I say, say hi to everybody, huh? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> She's my girl. There's Betty. Yeah, this is this is Betty. And she came downstairs, and she just was looking up at me with those eyes. And then, so I started to get down to pick her up, and she walked away. And I said, where are you going? And then she finally came back. But she's also, she's wonderful, but she's also a little shit, too. I mean, since I added all this stuff, i got to clean up all these wires behind the bar. We don't use the bar for drinking. So I'm kind of using it for this studio I got here. But I got all the wires back there, and this little dog can chew a wire in half. I mean, she already disabled all my uh, uh, Ethernet cable to down here one day because I came down, nothing to work. She chewed through the Ethernet wire. <laughs> <laughs> but you had that yeah. happen too, didn't you, Bart? A dog chew through yeah. your... The dogs chewed through my Ethernet wire. I had it coming out here to the trailer. It, go, it comes out of the house, runs along the top of the, the eave of the house, and then it went down the corner, and then I dug a trench... And I buried it from there to the trailer. And in that little bit between the bottom of the the uh, siding of the house and the ground, they chewed through it, freaking dogs. And uh, so I got a new cable, ran it a different way, buried it. And I put something in front of where that little spot is so they can't access it. Came out the next morning and one of the freaking dogs started digging up my trench. I'm like, you son of <laughs> Yeah, and they're bigger dogs though, so I can't just punt them. So I had to just. <laughs> Maybe oh, if you wait. you need to coat your wires, you know, like how the uh, switch cartridges. If you lick it, it tastes right. really bad. If you coat it with that whatever Nintendo uses for the switch cartridges, and I'm pretty sure they won't <laughs> want to eat it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. They actually it's... have a they actually have a spray that, you, that I bought. To get her to quit shoes. So another thing she'd do is she'd chew my shoelaces off my shoes and I sprayed them with the stuff that I guess tastes like shit and she won't chew on them anymore. Yeah, I got a, I got a question. I got a question though. Since we're talking about Ethernet and, and wiring, you know, I've complained one of the biggest problems in my house is the way it's designed is I have my Wi Fi is crap. You know, you got the, I got a combination from Comcast, a Wi Fi, uh, I mean, a modem slash router. And, you know, it's sitting in the middle of this house, but it didn't get anywhere. So I ordered, and I'm going to experiment with it. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of one. It's I ordered a mesh Wi-Fi system. Have you guys mm -hmm. had any experience with it? Is it going to be worth it? I don't know. You know. I've, I've never messed with them. I've, I've heard about it. Um, Mike, have you used them at all? Um, have you set up a mesh system? No. No. No? Never set up a mesh system before. Nope. Yeah. I does it come with like a hub and then multiple repeaters? Is that how it's working? Or right. this one is this one will do multiple things. For example, the first thing I, I understand that I have to do is I have to go into my modem and I have to tell it to go into bridge mode, which means it's going to disable its Wi-Fi. Right. Yeah. And then I hook it into this device, which one will go in the living room where the main cable comes in. And then, fortunately, I can hook my Ethernet up to that, and it'll run downstairs, and I can run that extension, the first one, down here, so that, obviously, my office will still have Ethernet, but that means the whole downstairs, anybody that's down here and in that far bedroom will have Wi-Fi. And then, if I go to the top floor, 
I will have one more one that has no Ethernet, but it has Wi-Fi up there. It'll get Wi-Fi. So supposedly, the way I understand it is the reason they call it a mesh is it all meshes together. You can walk through the house like a, there's like cell towers. You know, you drive around, you hit one tower. So supposedly right. you can move freely throughout the house and it'll mesh between one and the other. And yeah. Sam's had it on sale and I bought it and I can return it if it doesn't work, but it's going to be here tomorrow and I'm going to test it out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So then I guess in theory, they all have the same uh, SSID and stuff. So it, it just connects to whichever you're closest to and gets you the best signal if you're if you're walking around with your cell phone. Cause As a matter of fact, they told me they, in the instructions, they said, or the hints I saw, they said, when I disable my regular router, mm -hmm. uh, they said to name this one the same SSID yeah, and password, and that way I don't have to go through the house and change all the shit. You know, just right. Everything will just connect. That's brilliant. Yeah, because yeah. I I have the house. I run the Starlink router, and so everything in there you connect to that, and then I run the Cat Six cable out here, and I have that plugged into my old router. And my computer that I'm using for all of this stuff is hardwired to that router with a Cat Six cable. But I also turn the router's Wi-Fi on, so but it's a different system. Then you can't just do that with the same SSID, and your your phone won't automatically switch. But I have my my tablets that I use for the stems and all that. Where's my camera? I have all that set up on the local Wi-Fi in here, and then when I come out here, what I'll usually do with my phone is because I'm lazy. I just swipe down on the top, turn off Wi-Fi, and then turn it back on, and then it connects to the strongest signal that you have anyway. So I have it remember the two systems. Then when I get back in the house, I turn off Wi-Fi, turn it back on. That way I don't have to go into the Wi-Fi settings, find the Starlink one, tell it to connect. Just gotcha. turn off Wi-Fi completely on your phone, turn it back on. But I have two separate Wi-Fi systems because you can get the Starlink Wi-Fi in this trailer, but you're like 60 feet away and inside of a trailer so it's just crap signal so yeah derek mentioned that mesh system uh yeah they have them on amazon they have this exact same one but sam's club i just happened to be up there and they had uh they had this one marked down 40 bucks like 88 bucks and uh of course i did that i did the i did the thing with sam's you know uh, people are I bought those Joy Cons too. You know, they have those little cards up there you pick up and then you scan them. Well, they're supposed mm -hmm. to put those in the back. They should have a card for every one that's they got in stock. Well, I noticed when I bought the Joy Cons, the gal scanned them and then she just put them back in the stock. Well, the same thing happened with this thing. I paid for this mesh system because they had one of the cards. Well, they said we're out of them. How can you be out of them? You shouldn't have, you know. So, long story short, they free shipping it, they, you know. Because I was, I was being kind of a dick about it. They said it's free. They free ship one to me, so it'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. Now, Derek, it's not lazy. It's work smarter, not harder, right? Uh, <laughs> two quick button clicks, and you're back on the Wi-Fi instead of doing all that other stuff. Yeah, the mesh you saw, they're all the same, not one for the hub, just the one that gets hooked up to the modem. Well, this one you said you could do both. You could hook, you could do a mixer match, but the main one had to hook up to the modem via wire. The other ones could Wi-Fi, or you could Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And so I'm Etherneting one of them because I can. Everything on this side of the house has got Ethernet. Everything on that side of the house doesn't because it's all got finished ceilings and there's no unfinished places to run the wire unless I hire somebody to fish cable. Yeah, so uh, Chaos asked Mike, who's your favorite character on the game, and who are you going to use? In true gaming road warrior fashion, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I smell shenanigans. <laughs> you well, might it's... smell I don't even know how to spell shenanigans, but, so you're ahead of me. Well, is Pixel oh. Torium, Torium going to play, or is Derek going to play? I don't know. You never know which one's going to show up. Both of them cheat, so 
<laughs> Shocker. That's a whole different thing, Derek. We don't want to know what you're doing next Friday night. Uh, <laughs> going to use the chaos character. But uh, well, I think I'm going to skip the pinball tournament this week. I think I, we got one good game going, and we're doing a next week. We're doing arcade game, right? And then I'll have a, I'll I'll get one ready on the big machine. Okay. I don't want to do one on the I don't want to do one on the switch because not everybody can get in. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa dirt. So, uh, Poe, now that you're back, we'll see. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in the house, and my boy was watching, and he said, "Oh, I." They're going to be playing contracts. I already know. I'm part of the show, man. I knew this days ago what's going to be played, man. Just come to the old man if you want to know ahead of time what's being played for the show. Right. Yeah. Hey, you're in the know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I knew it. I knew. Well, I knew it. dang, there went that. I was going to I was gonna tell you that we watched your video already and while you were gone, but you know that we didn't. You had a spy. <laughs> I had no idea he even watched the show. I better tone everything down. I don't smoke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know Much. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Every once in a while, Shelby will type in the chat. And I'll be like, oh, geez, I didn't know she was watching. I know she'll be in the house watching with because Kelly will put it on the TV, but for her to type. Well, you, usually Sunday nights, he's working at this time, but he put in his last day yesterday to prepare for the military so nice he, he, he's off until then so well can we watch right. Poe's video because i gotta take a leak okay. <laughs> <laughs> Poe, what, uh, do, you, do you have to intro this thing what do you got going on i don't even hey, know it's it just is. for easter uh the game is called jack rabbit and it's a 1984 arcade game nothing too oh. impressive but it's got a rabbit and it's by zacharia Zachariah, Zachariah, diarrhea. Right. Uh, the video is diarrhea. You'll see for yourself. So if you have the <laughs> diarrhea, go ahead and go, go do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so here we go. Hey, we're going to play some Jack Rabbit. Just requested this on the Pax RS for Easter. Just a simple old 1984 Zachariah, Zachariah game from the arcades. Play it here on the arcade. I requested it, and within minutes, Blue Shark had it packaged up and ready to go for me. So, just a very simple game. You can see I already did a test run here. Hello. Hello. Hi there. I'm Jack Rabbit. I love carrots, and I'm very hungry. He loves carrots, and he's very hungry. <laughs> So everything with this game is like at a diagonal. Jump in. Oh, <laughs> 
Jack Rabbit, Zachariah, Zachariah, Diarrhea, 1984 for the for the arcades on my i arcade, and uh, just maybe something that you didn't know about. Fun little challenge. Not the challenge this week. Just a fun little challenge. Nice. Cool. Nice. Looks that like a, a fun, fun little challenge. Yeah. Fun little challenge. Not the, not challenge, the challenge. Not the challenge you're looking for. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's funny because you said the Congo Bongo vibes on that last level. And of course, with the diagonal jumping, it's kind of got that Cubert feel. Yeah. With the uh, hoppity hoppity. I like, like Chaos said, though, if it was a little bit faster, it'd be a little bit better. You know, yeah. just a little slower pace. And it's not yeah. one that I've ever heard about. So, I mean, 1984, you had so many good games in the arcade. That's probably why most of us never heard of it. <laughs> it probably just kind of <laughs> faded away. Yeah. It probably seems a little bit faster, though, when you get on that second level and the whole thing's panning while you're jumping. Yeah, uh, yeah, you have to keep moving. Then, yeah. And it uh, looks, but it looks like an interesting game. I'd never heard of it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what the uh, cabinet art looks like on that. Oh, yeah, my. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> yeah, well, there is always the answer, Poe. You could have just said, "Well, Mike, while the video was playing, you could have Googled it and pulled it up <laughs> and shared it with the rest of the audience." <laughs> yeah, I, I had a lady today uh, speaking of Google and stuff. It just reminded me because uh, she asked me about if we have any holiday inns in globe arizona because that's where they're headed and i told her our systems are not interlinked so i have no way of doing it i said i could google it for you and she's like well i could do that myself and i'm like yes you could <laughs> but if you want me to i will but uh yeah she was just amazed i said oh no because we own the hel the hotel right next door it's an avid same owners same manager all that stuff we can't even see their system to know if if someone asks if we're full and they're like well do they have any room next i have to call them and hey, you guys got any rooms <laughs> we're, we're not even linked but yeah i told the lady i could google it for you but she's like well, I could do that. <laughs> but what's greg doing greg uh he's playing contra is he playing contra <laughs> he's already on a continue he's only been there for 12 seconds <laughs> cheater <laughs> did i just see the rewind he rewound clear back to the beginning, to the logo. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be, I, I thought it'd be fun just to let people see what it looked like. I mean, I uh, 
I don't think I've ever played this. That's kind of neat. No, I, I want to see if I have it on the the, the uh, meme system too. But oh, and just so Bart knows, uh, this Sega version of this game, somebody did put it on the PAX or us. You could put that right on your high arcade and take up lots of room if you want to to play it on there. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a scary thing with the iArcade also is the limited space and not the no ability to uninstall games. <laughs> uh, and they start oh. putting out some of these bigger titles. It's like you got to think about it, you know. Yeah. I think I'm going to die here pretty soon. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> this, is what, this is what's cool here. Watch this. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> and he still died right there. Dead, uh, not yet. Not not yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of this. Let me let me get. How do I get out of here? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool, though. I, I, I didn't realize that, you know, I, I play with this expansion pack a lot, and it's there's a lot of cool stuff on these. It really is. So. Nice. All right. I can remember how to get out of it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny stuff. <laughs> no rewinds. No rewinds. Oh, yeah. yeah, no rewinds. No continues. <laughs> play it honest. I mean, there's no prize for winning other than you get your name mentioned, but everyone else does too. So, what's the big deal? <laughs> I, I'd bring it up on my PC here with the meme. That's what I love about the system in here. I've got the, all those games on here, but I'll hit a hotkey and I'll delete Poe, Mike, and myself and leave you here all by yourself, Mark. So, I don't know. What oh, I've, I've been there before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, was it? just a few, couple of weeks ago, right? Mike had to go, and then all of a sudden, Poe left. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the, <laughs> this is the me show. Uh, we went from 15 viewers to one in about 12 seconds. I forgot to I forgot to take myself out of that <laughs> that screenshot there. We didn't say anything about emulation save states, yeah. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of things that we're not going to point out of ways people could cheat. Uh, <laughs> game Genie. Oh, what Mike uses the you use the AVS, right, Mike, for your NES yes. game? Yes. Yeah. See, yeah. that has like Game Genie built in, so we'd never know what Mike's doing over there. Right. <laughs> you know, but in all, in all seriousness, though, you know, when I play these games and we're playing for fun, like you guys are, you know, like we all are, you know, what what. Does cheating do for you? So, so you tell everybody you won. You know you didn't win. You know you did. You, you, you know. Uh, well, and it's all just a joke. I call everybody cheaters because my brother always said that I was a cheater, or the Nintendo was cheating for me, like the Nintendo uh, knew me. I didn't even have Rob the Robot for the thing, so how did it know me? But they cheat for you, and, and my second player controller would be spiked into the ground, and then he'd go back off to his computer in his room, and I wasn't allowed to mess with the computer. Nice. But yeah, we, we joke. I know for a fact Gaming Road Warrior doesn't cheat. He just blows us all away at almost everything. So. Right. <laughs> uh, I told you, Tra Travis and I played that golf today. And, uh, you know, Cheryl called and said it's time for dinner after we did that live broadcast. And I went upstairs. She said, oh, did you guys have fun? I said, yeah, little bastard beat me. He cheated. <laughs> you know, and, and I think for just, he knows I'm that way. And he can take a joke. But for a split second, I could see on his face, he kind of went back like, <laughs> well, that that game there is a really fun game, and we got it when it first came out, my son and I, and we played it quite a bit, but then he just stopped. He's, like, acting like my older brother. He's like, I was beating him every time at that golf game, and that's, like, one of the only games I can beat him at now. So it's probably been, like, a year. <laughs> I'd like to play again. Oh, he's probably watching. About he, I better lock the door. He might come out and kick my arse. <laughs> you talking about the Mario Golf? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I picked that up only because it was on that Mario Day sale. And I'm telling you what, I've kind of gotten hooked on playing the little challenges and stuff. I think it's kind of, and you can actually play with the Joy Cons. If I wasn't so lazy, you can get up and stand and swing. But man, playing with the controller in the easy chair with a 
Diet Pepsi next to you in a tub of popcorn. That's the way to go. <laughs> That's yeah. the way to go. But I'm lazy for just taking a shortcut to set my Wi-Fi. I, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you loaf. You loaf. You know, uh, getting back to uh, really quick, I was going to say uh, the cheating methods. I was pretty sure in that last game in Gunsmoke that uh, Greg over here, he was just going to find some other YouTuber that has a child <laughs> that was playing it and then take a picture. But then I saw Greg score and realized, no, he didn't do that. Um, <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you what. I had that that kid, that um, single dad, lives on the street. My, uh, Cheryl's good friends with his kid's grandma. And you've seen him over here before. He's the one I had do little, little gags like, you know, I tell him, bring me quarters. And he goes, if you're not going to play fair, and then we'll walk out of here and stuff. We've done little gags with him. But he, he came over the other day and said, that, you know, can I, I – same old standard thing. He comes to the door, uh, Greg, can I play some pinball? I said, you got any quarters? Yeah. No. Oh, geez. Okay. I guess so, you know. But I, said, <laughs> I said, I want you to play this gun smoke for me. I want to see how you can do it. Is what for? And I said, well, I'm in a competition. I said, I'm going to video you do it and just cut me out. And I'll, maybe we can do something here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the kid couldn't even beat my low score. I told him, go home. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, use, what, what use are you to me? You just get out of my house and come back with quarters. Nah, he's a good kid. I had an old guy in my neighborhood growing up told me he had Popeye arcade and candy, but. All I did for the next week was put the lotion on until the SWAT team came. So <laughs> <laughs> there was no Popeye. <laughs> Your eyes be popping, but for the wrong reason. <laughs> they waved at you. <laughs> Mike had a visitor. <laughs> oh, how funny. Yeah, uh, never forget. Yeah, see, I always had my when I had my real pinball machines. I just had them set up to free play, and uh, but I told the one neighbor kid. I, I think I told the story before. He came over, asked if Jason was home. I let him in. He went downstairs to my theater room, grabbed a candy bar and a coke, went upstairs, played pinball for thirty minutes, and then left. Never even <laughs> <with> Jason. <Drew. laughs> So, so when he came over the next time, he said, is Jason here? I said, yeah, but you need to go talk to Jason. If you do that trick again with the pinball one more time, I'm setting him up to where it takes quarters, and I ain't supplying <laughs> he, he stopped you. You can do that? And I'm like, yes, and I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grabbed a soda and a candy bar, went up, played pinball, and then left. Never even – Jason never even knew he was at the house. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, I've got it. I've got this. I don't think I ever. I got this old thirty-three LP that has been melted into a bowl. That's what I throw all the quarters in. I buy rolls of quarters so people can play. But there's been some guys I got that come over here that love to come over and drink my beer and play pinball. And a couple times I've just moved this back to my office. They go, "Where's the quarters?" And I go, "I, I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Bank up the street. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Derek. Derek, you gotta you gotta try to keep up here. Greg is explaining how he cheated a gun smoke, but the kid didn't play as good as Greg, so no, he didn't. Yeah. Derek, yeah. Derek's, Derek's a little slow. He doesn't he doesn't listen to the whole story. He only listens to the beginning of it. And like uh, I say, there's 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 no advantage to cheating, but I did, I, and I admittedly did. I, I I told that kid that I just thought it was funny. I said, and I play, and I said, "Got to do real good at this gun smoke. I need a good score." <laughs> what is that's, wrong with you? That's funny. <laughs> I've never I've yeah. never seen that game before. I've never seen it. Yeah, neither did I, and I'm old, so. At least he's got youth. He should be able to play it faster. I told him. I like I said, most should... of these. Oh, go ahead, Greg. Well, I said you should know the game. Mister Postal plays it on his channel. Right. He says, "Who's Poe?" What? <laughs> he didn't dare. even know about your channel. Oh, was well, that why you let him stay? You figured he was a good guy. I heard <laughs> most preschools. Most preschools put my channel on for nap time. 
<laughs> they don't even get that. How's it going, everybody? Time for another great Mr. Post style, and then everybody's gone. They're done. <laughs> <laughs> but it shocks me. This kid actually said, do you ever watch the Gaming Road Warrior? <laughs> You're like, not anymore. <laughs> Did you did you say to the kid, do you ever watch G. Parker's arcade room? And he's like, no. no. <laughs> that guy is a loser. <laughs> why, why would I do that? Why? why? <laughs> you should just watch it one time. It it might you might find something familiar. You know. Pull pull up, you should do that. Pull up your channel while he's in your arcade. Yeah, have you ever watched this guy? He'll be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look familiar. <laughs> kids. Oh, man. The, kid, the kid's actually, uh, I, that's what I need to do. He's actually, for 11 years old, he's actually a good guitar player. No. That's what I need to do. I need to have him do a little concert on the G. Parker Arcade channel. There you go. He get out your ukulele. He could, he could probably yeah. write your song for you. Your intro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's, he has picked up the ukulele. They're tuned completely different, but he actually could. I mean, he's not trained. His dad's a guitar player, and I guess he just, you know, some people can just do that shit. They hear it and they can do it. I, I mean, I can't. But uh, yeah, we've seen your videos. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Facebook was paying me pretty good there for a while till they changed right. it. They realized they were paying too much money to people for doing stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that that was a brilliant plan. Your your uh jokes made your ukulele playing sound better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the jokes were pretty sad too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, that that that's the beauty of them, though. The beauty of them is the bad joke, you know. Yeah, I love a good bad joke. But uh, all right, anything else going on? What else do we need to talk about today on this big Easter holiday? Uh, I, I, you get to talk about everything again. I missed it all. Okay, we'll start oh. over. <laughs> Welcome to the no, show. <laughs> You know, we need a we need some time to just break to our sponsor and kind of regroup. I don't know, you know. Yeah, wanna... I did see earlier that Mike's Gaming Gala was here, and uh, he did have his live drawing for his giveaway right before we came on. I missed his live drawing, but I didn't win anyway, so screw it. I won't mention it. Oh, too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that was tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't get to catch it either. Yeah. But uh, he's got a good channel, though. He yeah, does excellent stuff from Homebrew. And he does the uh, game, Gamer of the Month. Uh, he's the Gamer of the the Year winner. He's the host of Gamer of the Month. So. Nice. Yeah, I, we used to, I knew a guy that was up for that one time. He lost miserably. But he, miserably. Yeah, yeah. what are they? They picked four, four people at a time, and Pope came in fifth. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I even lost behind the guy that lived in Laos or Kenya or wherever he was from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I really didn't know how to track how you were doing in that. Uh, yeah. I didn't really pay attention. I, at first, I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, and then it was just kind of like, well, I got a downplay because I didn't come anywhere close to winning. But I did make good friends from the guys that I met on there. On there the you go. That's, oh, they're that's good, good people. Part. Yeah. Yeah, that's the good part. Yeah, you, I, did you try maybe singing karaoke to Filipinos? That's that's one way. <laughs> that's that's one way to to increase. That's probably that. the only votes that I got were for Old Poe. I haven't even seen Old Poe for quite a while. Actually, anytime Old Poe opens his mouth, I lose another dozen subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one guy I've met though just over the recent few months because we've been doing some of these things and these challenges and I enjoy watching the show again I get on there and co comment but I usually his shows live when I'm at the gym and I uh, get my little cardio on and uh, I can't say too much because I'm not in the gym but I do enjoy watching Retro Bliss and I want to thank him again publicly because he always mentions 
uh, the, the group here, the show. He puts in a little plug for us. And he seems to always get involved in the, one of our games, you know, each week. So uh, I do want to thank him. Seems like quite the nice fellow, and I do enjoy watching his channel. So that's my little – I'm going to say something yeah. nice about something maybe for a change, so that's who I'm going to say it to. Yeah. He always he always cracks me up if, if like, three of us show up to his live stream, he'll be like, oh, all we need is – like if Mike's not there yet, all we need is Mike, and we'll have the Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he always yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's he a friend that streams. goes way back yeah. with the three yeah. of us. Uh, we've known him since we've known each other, pretty much. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, for, a for for a moment there, uh, I know I knew him when he first started out. I actually, was a subscriber from my old channel, so yeah, so I, I knew about him when he was starting out and stuff, and I watched his Atari stuff, so. Yeah, I knew I knew Richard Bliss, and yeah. I was shocked when uh, remember when we used to have our old show, he he'd pop in. So right. I'm like, right. Oh yeah, I watched that guy. <laughs> yeah, good guy. If we're good gonna guy. if we're gonna get sen sentimental, then we might as well finish. Because I'm gonna have to get. So I'm just gonna if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna just jump in with a final thing for me. I want to thank everybody though. I'll tell you what, Derek. We all pick on him. Does a great job with the Discord. Thanks, Derek. Seriously. Thank you, Derek. You're a cheater yeah. and you're a pain in the ass, <laughs> but. You are uh, loyal. <laughs> Thank you, Easter Bunny. Remember that? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to the United States of Chaos. Right. Chaos is with us forever in our hearts and our minds. Well, sometimes. Wh which in our minds, chaos? I well, I don't know. Isn't that the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like four versions. I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> They're all related. Betty, Betty just heard his name and came running down here again. But anyway, but no, uh, I think we got a great bunch of people, and uh, I want to thank everybody. I am going to have to step out because it's getting that bewitching hour. And if you see behind me, I got 20 minutes worth of shutdown to do back here. So. <laughs> You need to set up the clapper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm out. I'll tell you what, though, since I've moved in here, I'll tell you what, I'm just having a lot more fun down here because I can move around and play. And Travis came down. We played pinball. We played the golf game. But uh, it's really shaping up. I kind of let it get a little behind when I was not feeling so well and got down here and really gave it a good clean. And I'm just having a ball with it. So as you all are, I mean, we all have our – Cool places, Mike. You got. I love yours and your Atari sign pose. Uh, fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Pixelatorium. Yeah. <laughs> I still, I still crack up because we all do the same thing when we try to point something out on our screen. We don't know which way to go. Yeah. <laughs> over here, somewhere. I don't know which way he's going. Yeah. <laughs> you all have a good night. Betty's down here looking at me like, "Get up, Dad! I need something." So I'm gonna let you guys get. I'll see y'all next. See you next week, and uh, have a good one. All right, we'll see. You. We'll see you, Greg. Bye. See you, Greg. Good night. All right. Did he leave? We he, can't he, see. Did he leave? <laughs> yeah, he left. He waited for about four seconds. So now it's, now it's fair game because we got about ten <laughs> seconds till he can pull us up on the phone. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, depending on whether his mesh is working or not. Oh, he don't he don't have the mesh yeah. yet. He doesn't have the mesh yet. <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah. playing mesh pretty soon. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Is that is that on the uh, coming up agenda? It is right along with strawberry shortcake was, and now that one's done with. Uh, two people watched that, so I'm proud of myself. Uh, <laughs> it was me, <laughs> and then me again checking to see if anybody else watched it. So oh, I watched it. I love that's yeah. that's pinned on my uh, watch later. <laughs> yeah, on my YouTube on both channels. Much much later. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you though, it's funny because in the beginning when you're playing the first couple levels or whatever, and it's like, wow, this is like the simplest game ever. And then all of a sudden it's like, match up the character with the song. And you're like, what? 
I was, <laughs> that was messed up. That took me by surprise because I'm reading the instruction manual as I'm playing along, and I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm doing that. Right. Remembering yeah. that, especially when you get to where the sun's going across the sky as your timer. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that ain't happening. I don't know anybody's yeah. song. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, oh, my gosh, what song is that? I don't know. I don't know. Songs, but, yeah, that's, so you it see, does get kind of tough. It's trying to push you to watch the cartoon. <laughs> that means you're not a true fan if you didn't watch the cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel I very bad them. about that. <laughs> Mike, Mike knew all the songs right off the bat. He was just like, <laughs> come on, oh, that's literally the blueberry version. Screaming at my TV. He's like, come on, you know this. <laughs> that's that's Chef on Mist. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> you all still here? Uh, <laughs> we, we've been known to just sit here, just jabber, jib, jibber jabbering for two and a half hours. <laughs> so, well, yeah, you know, we came close to three hours a couple times. So, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What do we got? Po, Po. I can't even tell what those icons are. Uh... This is. Uh, and I'm back. You're back. And welcome back. Welcome back. Uh-oh, welcome that means back. we need some action. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a good was show, a, huh? There should have been a welcome show. back. There should have been a welcome back Carter Atari 2600 game. Oh, that show was hilarious. That, that <laughs> show was amazing. Uh, have you ever listened to his album, his comedy album? Back in the oh, day, uh, Gabe, Gabe Kaplan. Kaplan? No, Gabe Kaplan. I, I've never heard his Ka- oh. comedy stuff. If I remember, I'll send you. It's on uh, YouTube. Just friggin' hilarious, and of course, it's him uncensored. But it was before that show started, where he's doing the characters that ended up being on that show. That's why they had him do the show, I think. You know, but he's oh, talking nice. about Epstein and and Horse Shack and and all that stuff. And all it, all the sweat really hogs. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that was an amazing show. I loved that show when I was a kid. But yeah, they don't make shows like they used to. No. They, they just don't. They try because they try just to remake the shows that they used to make. <laughs> we'll take the good shows from the seventies and eighties, but then we'll put all the shitty aspects of the shows that are modern into them and wonder why they don't do well. <laughs> it's like we'll, we'll take out the I, good parts. Yeah. Modernize well, it's it. something like that. The Sweat Hogs were kids that just, they were normal kids, but maybe, I guess now you would call it a learning disability. I don't think the Sweat Hogs cared enough to learn. So that's why they were in his class. You know, he was right. maybe a yeah. remedial type class. But but now, yeah, I'm sure they would have to have a totally different angle on it if they wanted to make something like that. Right, day. right. But on one side, though, it was a very diverse cast. They had they had all kind of races and girls and guys and all so that way they were ahead of the times. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So what is coming to Pinball FX was thrown out here. Um, I did see they are going to have a uh, the Pinball Bites. I don't know, man. I don't. I I got to start bringing my phone out here because uh, all that stuff's on my phone. It's going to be. We're pretty sure it's a it's a Zen original table based on another game um and i can't remember what it was because someone pointed out in the little promo clip f- for the pinball bite show he was wearing a shirt for that game so it's gonna so be it's based game. on like a video game or an arcade game or yeah it's a yeah a video game of some sort i'd never heard of it big surprise but uh yeah and i was just loving it because i saw it on the pinball fx uh facebook page so you know how I am with all this stuff. I was loving it because as soon as someone pointed out that it was going to be based on this game, so it's going to be as in all the Williams people were just freaking out. <laughs> Why aren't you doing it, William? Oh, it's always a Zen. It's like because Zen is in the business of making pinball tables. All right. <laughs> That's what they do. They they do right. Williams as like a side gig to be nice. Uh, but I held back. I didn't. I didn't respond. I just wanted to tell these people. You know, if you're that big a Williams fan, and I'll, I'll put, I'll say it here on the show, uh, if you're that big of a Williams fan, invest in 
getting a computer that can run VPX. Because then you can get all the Williams tables, all the all those Gottlieb tables, you can get them all and put them on your thing. You don't have to wait for Zen or for someone else to make them. Just download them. And, you know, some people be like, well, I only play on Xbox. Well, then you get what you get, you know. But there, Zen is in the business of designing and developing and making pinball tables. Uh, the Williams is just kind of a bonus thing. So, uh, But not the Williams? Uh, no, it's yeah, Vanessa she was Williams. kind of a bonus thing. Remember when she showed she up naked there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, she was what, <laughs> Miss America for like a month, and then uh, <laughs> and then naked. Uh, yeah, was it uh, Gucci? <laughs> Army? Is that the guy's name from uh, uh, Penthouse? Wasn't it that had the pictures? And uh, suddenly those pictures showed up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that was kind of cheesy though that they took her crown away. Yeah. But, there's no reason for that. See, yeah. we do talk about absolutely everything here, but it's all nostalgia. Absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I did see the pictures, and I will say I liked her boobs better than Mike's avatar's boobs. It was a good yeah. picture. Uh, Google mine, it. <laughs> mine were pointy, though. Yeah. <laughs> like Laura's. Laura you, Croft's. Laura Croft's. PS1. <laughs> PS1 Laura Croft. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> gaming road warrior. So nice, so hot. Want to touch the honey? <laughs> <laughs> they should have had Madonna play Lara Croft because she uh, always had them pointy bras back then. <laughs> uh, Derek says, Yeah, I need to get back to get some more VPX. Yeah, if I had my phone, though, I, I feel bad now that I can't look that up. I'm mean, leaving it, Derek, to turn it from naked women back to pinball. Back nice to pinball. Job there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Derek. That's Derek. We can always count on it. Yeah. So, uh, and we played. I played Cash Cow this week. What a fun game that was! I yeah, I was going to ask you about the big Cash Cow that that came out for the arcade. But yeah, uh, they did the. Uh, they did the package deal, which. That kind of stinks. But you know what? I'm like, you know what? I paid $15 for games before. You get four games here if you don't already have them. Now, we do. Uh, right. You and I both had Donut Dodo. I, I said that in my video. I bought Donut Dodo for the Switch originally because I didn't have the arcade. Then I got the arcade and I bought Donut Dodo when I got it before they went under because we were never going to be able to have games again on the thing. <laughs> right. And now... I bought it again, so I bought Donut Dodo a third time, but this time it was in the bundle. And I did have Sir Love a lot already. Now, the other one, Siggy or whatever, I had that on the VCS, so I didn't have it on my arcade. So at least I could add that to the arcade. Yeah. But that's how you have to buy it, Cash Cow, for the arcade. Now, for other systems, Steam, and it's coming out for Switch in September, I think it's like Five ninety nine just to buy the yeah. one game. Oh wow! Yeah, for me, it's it's kind of it's the principle of the thing. I guess is what really gets me because you know a lot of us that had I arcades when uh, Donut Dodo come out, we jumped right on it because and it's a great game. Don't regret that for a second. Right. But to package to put a game out and package it with games that have been out for a long time and people. I didn't buy the package before, but some people had all of those games. It's like, so now I got to pay for all four games to get the one that I won. Right. Um, now, and I missed out on the, uh, they had it on that sale. So you could the get spring it. The, sale, the, like the spring sale. The spring sale. For like yeah. eight bucks, seven, nine, seven fifty or something like that. Right. And if you, if the cash cow was not out then, but if you bought it during the spring sale, they would give you the cash cow when it came out, is what right. I understand. So, um, yeah. Well, wait a second here. What's this? Uh, I miss our arcade. Well, why did, did you get rid of your arcade? Do you not have your arcade? What's what's the story behind this? Because uh, uh, I still well, have there them. were a lot of people that that ended up bailing. They weren't getting the games that they wanted. Uh, right. before the bankruptcy was, was even announced. And then whenever the bankruptcy happened, do you remember, me and you were both in some of those groups. People were like, I'm out of here. Mine's going up for sale. I'm gone. Yeah. And then this MIA thing came up 
mystery interstellar whatever you know right. and it's like it made this thing like the greatest thing on earth as far as i'm concerned because a lot of these games like i said they're some of them are my first time playing in the challenges or close to it for these arcade versions. I knew they were out there, but I played the home versions. You know, we didn't have arcades everywhere here. And when I did get to them, you had to kind of be sparingly with the quarters. Which game do I really want to play here? You know, so some of these games that we're playing now are like my first time actually playing the arcade version. But I love yeah. it. I love adding all these classics to it. Yeah, I got I got. See, I don't know where I'm pointing. I don't know where I'm pointing. I got Tapper going over. Here. I don't. Poe, you're looking on your phone, so I don't know if you can tell. Uh, on a bigger screen, people might be able to tell. I got Tapper going on on my arcade right there. Um, yeah. So he still has it. It's just the culture community I miss. Yeah, there's a whole new community though with all the modders and with Glenn putting out his deck. And yeah. They, did you did you buy the MIA chip? Jay America, did you buy that chip and put that in, and or and or did you get Glenn's deck? Because Poe and I both did both of those, so now we have the trackball, we have the uh, the best invention ever, the push button four way eight way switcher. Oh, that is beautiful, and the that spinners is, and the spinners are on there, um, so you can play games how they were meant to be for the most part. And the right. community is putting out special configurations for games that you might not have been able to play the right way before. You know, twin stick games. We yeah. can do that easily now. Yeah, and some of those, like the, uh, what's the, super off-road, you can steer with the spinner. <laughs> so yeah, like a tiny yeah. Steering wheel. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty and then cool. Glenn came out with the uh, Target Pro, the Sendin. Yeah. And uh, I, I have a video that I made the other day, but I got to edit it. I need to get that out. really cool game on there called Zombie Raid. So that was, uh, I really liked the graphics, the cartoony nature. That was a fun game. But I just haven't had time to yeah, put that I video was, together. I was bummed with that game because it does not work in two player. Oh. Because that was going to, that was actually going to be our first like um, two player Tuesday game was going to be that zombie ra and it didn't work. And I was like, what the heck? So that's when I went on to the uh, Discord, Pax R Us, to find out. And I saw a few people that say, hey, these games do work in two-player mode. So um, so we've been picking through those. But, yeah, that uh, Jurassic Park, that's a crazy game. I'd never played that before. It, it, it just never stops moving. You're going the whole time. Uh, <laughs> I thought uh, I thought Kelly was going to get car sick a couple times. Hey, Mike's Gaming Gala. He's still here. We're back. Mike's Gaming two. Gala. Yeah, yeah, I do have stuff sitting there. I did stuff for the Amico before my laptop crashed. But luckily, I uploaded them to the mega file site before my laptop crashed. So I have some videos there. That I need to pull and and do for the Amico and uh, but now then I did the zombie raid one a few days ago, but then I wanted to do cash cow so I got that one out there right away because I wanted it out there where it was still fresh, kind of let people with I arcades know. Not that anybody at all is watching the channels, but if they stumble upon it and they have an I arcade, you know, here's the game that you can buy right now that's brand new, and then the newest one I'm doing, of course. Mike knows uh, Gaming Gala as uh, the uh, Atari 400 Mini. So, yeah, yeah I, I do have at least three, maybe four, five videos that are all, some of it's shot, but not all of it. So, all right. That's good. Stuff to look forward to. Stuff to look forward to. Sweet, says Mike's Gaming Gala. I'll put it on the screen so Poe can see it. <laughs> yeah. So, Mike, are you uh, you're still working on some stuff? Uh, I, I... Yeah, uh, prior to when the show started, I was actually working on my video. So, uh, yeah, it's going better. I had to actually scrap. I had two videos. So, like, the first one I didn't like, and then I started the second one, and I had to scrap it. And then, uh, but the third one I, I seem to like a lot better. So that's the one I'm kind of working on right now. But uh, nice. just so... You guys know, I know like uh, 
Derek's wonder what kind of secret. But after that, I'll let people know. I'm going to be doing Ninja Gaiden. It'll be the video after the secret video. So I'm going to be nice. doing that because I already beat the game. I recorded all the game footage. Um, and this time I wrote the script myself. So I'll be doing that. That way I can kind of put out more videos because, uh, yeah, doing it once a month. It's like, oh, I got to find a little bit easier way because it takes a lot of time to do all that stuff. But I think if I do the small uh, retrospective videos, then I can get more videos out on my channel. So that's what I have planned going on. And nice. Uh, nice. lastly, yeah, my brother contacted me from Hawaii and he nice. said, hey, because uh, me and him, we play Call of Duty Warzone all the time with my other friends. And he's like, you need to pick up Helldivers 2 for the PlayStation 5. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I went and checked it out, bought it at Best Buy when I got my headset too. And it wasn't bad. It was only 30 bucks, twenty nine ninety nine, And it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of Destiny. But if Destiny were set on, uh, you guys remember that movie... Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, Space... Debbie does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Jeremy, no, <laughs> no. Uh, Starship Troopers with the bugs. Oh yeah, yeah. On it, so it's like that, and it, you know, you're going, you're diving onto these plants with these bugs and stuff, and hunting them down, kind of like Destiny. So it's a third person perspective, but you play with other people. So I really did nice. the uh, uh, tutorial. So I did message my brothers like, "Hey, whenever you're ready, let's uh, you know let's play that." And I told my other friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, and yeah, yeah, they're gonna buy it for PC because it's cross-platform. Um, the only thing is, it's not for Xbox. So if you have an Xbox, I don't think you can play. But it's for like for anybody that's got a PlayStation and also the uh, PC, so we can play together. So I'm looking forward to playing that. I did the tutorial. It's it's a load of fun. It's it's actually pretty funny too. So they kind of have that humor from Starship Troopers. They do have those advertisements like joining the fight. So they have that humor spread in. It's like kind of funny. They had the commercial with the family, and they're on Earth, and then all of a sudden there's this bug that attacks the family members, and it's like <laughs> oh, and he's he's get the husband gets sprayed with a bunch of blood, and then he joins the service to go fight bugs, and that's how they uh, recruit people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. The best ad that I saw in a movie was, uh, what was that movie called? Well, I shouldn't even have said anything. I can't think of the name now. But uh, <laughs> the one where the dude gets, like, frozen until the future. And then he wakes up and, like, he's, he, yeah, he's the smartest person on earth. <laughs> and they have a po or a billboard with a guy with cigarettes. And it says, like, if you don't smoke such and such brand, F you. <laughs> <laughs> His lawyer was watching the show, Ow, My Balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rachel Bliss was asking what the game of the week is this week. It's Contra Hardcore. Yep. Uh, Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis is what we're playing. <laughs> you yeah, can't that. do this on Nintendo. Genesis does. <laughs> <laughs> but you can play it on the Nintendo Switch. We yes. found out. So... <laughs> It is available on the Switch, Idiocracy. That is that is a hilarious movie. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to yeah, Costco. I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I think I'm in the wrong line. I'm actually supposed to be getting out of jail today. Fat guy sat on my head and everything. Like, dumbass, <laughs> get out. And they let him right out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah electrolytes it's what plants crave <laughs> it's got electrolytes <laughs> you drink water like that stuff that's in the toilet <laughs> water on the plants oh. <laughs> the doctor is like okay we know the problem you're like tarted or something <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that that movie was hilarious. Put this one in your mouth, this one in your butt. Oh no, no, wait! Put this one in your mouth and this one in your butt. <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> yeah, oh, I gotta watch it again. 
<laughs> I, I ain't seen no plants grow out of the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that's the scary part. Mike's gaming gala hits it. We're living in that world. We are we are rapidly approaching that world. Oh. He's knocking on the guy's door and he's like, I'm baiting. <laughs> I'm baiting. <laughs> he, he has like a toilet thing right on his chair, so he's watching TV, taking shit at the same time. And that's his lawyer. <laughs> that's his lawyer. <laughs> Why come you don't have a tattoo? <laughs> Why come? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great movie! <laughs> it's a documentary now. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's hilarious. Such a good movie. Oh, scary. Yeah. A lot of quote a lot of quotables in that movie because the whole thing is just <laughs> President Camacho. <laughs> yes, President Camacho. I love that guy. <laughs> it's like all the smart people waited too long to have kids, but all the dumb people were just having kids like crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good times. Good times. Yeah, I haven't watched that. I got to watch that movie again. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> man, I got a I got a backlog of movies to watch now. I found a guy, what's he called on Cobweb or something like that on YouTube, and he'll do shows of like the top 10 vampire movies from the 50s and stuff like that. So then I start going online, especially the old ones. You can find them. They're just public domain at this point. But uh just got a ton of movies from watching that guy's channel. It's like, man, oh, gotta, watch cool. this. gotta watch that. Gotta watch this. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly said cobweb. So I, I have a huge backlog of movies to, that uh, we got to start watching. But uh, yeah, I got to work tomorrow. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. I, I tried to pull the old. It's April Fool's Day. I, I can't work on April. I get enough trouble messing with people at work. Uh, I had another, I had another couple today that checked out, and then they uh, put their bags in their car, and then they came back in to eat their breakfast. So I went over to them, you know, in deadpan face, and say, uh, "Just so you folks know, you've already checked out. So technically, you're not guests here. I'm going to have to charge you for breakfast." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so tomorrow it's just on. Uh, I don't know <laughs> these these people, but. Uh, yeah, now my uh, the guy that normally works during the week, his mother has a doctor's appointment, so she's a in her eighties, and uh, so I figure that's that's a good enough reason I'll work for you. I'm, I'm actually, and then she has a follow up in two weeks, so I, I'm working Monday, and then I'm working the fifteenth, which is a Monday, and then of course the Monday in between there is the big eclipse. Oh so, yeah, uh, yeah. We'll, we're going to be taking the road trip over to uh, further east in Texas. And uh, hopefully get some good pictures and stuff of the of the full eclipse. It'll be coming up near your area too, Poe. But yeah, yeah. Last I heard, I think to get to totality, you're gonna you would have to go up to like Erie, right? Somewhere over yeah, that I think, area. I think so. I yeah. mean, you could go into Ohio, but who wants to do that? Um, We're gonna be pretty busy anyway. You know, we'll be taking right. my son son to Pittsburgh to get ready to leave, and then yeah. we'll be leaving the day after that and stuff. So. Right. But, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to do that. And I went, when I had my doctor's appointment, I went and got my eyes done. Cause when my car got stolen, those jerks messed up my glasses. I never did get new ones yet. So I'm still running on my old glasses and they're like, yeah, they'll come in on the sixth. They should be in on the sixth. And I'm like, well, that's a Saturday. We work the weekend and then we go to the eclipse on the eighth. I'm like, I'll be getting my glasses later in the week. But, Everything we got to do is go El Paso, El Paso, El Paso. We can't get anything. Uh, goes right by Mike's Gaming Gala. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think here, if we were to stay here in Van Horn, it's like 90%. But if we drive like five hours east, we can see totality for, I guess, supposed to be four, four minutes or so or so of totality and they're saying 
uh, that there's that, uh, what are they calling it? The devil's comet or something like that. Uh, that comet is coming by. And for people that are in the totality, you might be able to see the comet during the day. Um, oh. If you're in the totality range, it'll be uh, just supposedly the sun is uh, going to be like here and, and Jupiter is going to be a little bit to the, I guess the Northwest. And then the comet's going to be, Closer to Jupiter, but kind of between the Sun and Jupiter, so that should be that should be good. Yeah, let's see. Northeast Ohio gets it. Cincinnati gets ninety something percent. Kelly says it's going to be epic. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be epic. Are you guys going to be able to see it? I'm going to be able to see it. We've got so much in common. Mike, so sorry much. about your luck. Sorry about your luck, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much, but uh, yeah, it's. I think it's gonna be neat. So we're we're doing that. So we got it, and in in the middle of that, I'm trying to play arcade games and getting these challenges. But I'm also adding on to the house. Uh, so I'm I'm doing construction work on my off days, and figured out that I'm in really bad shape. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got to appreciating all your uh, bricklaying work that you do, Poe. Uh, yeah, well, it's been almost two months since I did that. Actually, I looked at some Easter pictures the wife took, and I'm like, who's the fat guy with the family there? And they're like, that's you. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got to get back to laying brick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I only had to put up some uh, cinder blocks for the corners, and uh, I, that about killed me. Uh, just <laughs> one one block in each corner. <laughs> one block each four. I'm like, oh my goodness, no, yeah, yeah, dude. Bliss got it right here. Round is a shape. Round is a shape. <laughs> right a shape. So, so is a pair. Pair is a shape. That's <laughs> uh, no. The problem was, you know, because I'm attaching it to the house, you know, and making it so the floor levels are the same. And we just live in, for people that don't know, we live in one of those tough sheds that we've converted into a house. And it sits on like those big old, what are they, probably four by 12 runners. That's mm -hmm. what touches the ground. And you would think, well, if I stay at floor level and keep my new floor level, I'm going to be, a, oh, apparently over the last two years, all the wind and dust storms we have, I had to take out about a good eight inches of dirt. Uh -huh where I'm doing this and it's inside the yard. So I don't have a tractor or anything. I'm not going to hire a tractor to do an eight by 10 pad. So it was old man with a shovel action. So that's what killed me. So by the time I got down to putting down the, the cinder blocks to, to hold the corners and stuff, I was already whooped. I'm like, geez, <laughs> since when is an eight, eight, eight block, you know, just eight inch by eight inch. How is this that heavy? Why? <laughs> While like crawling through the dirt, picking right. it up, I'm like geez, I am. Right. Yeah, but uh, so hopefully I did get the whole floor done. And uh, next this week uh, I'll work tomorrow, and then Tuesday I'm going to pick up all the uh, lumber for the walls, stand up the walls, and uh, and then I'll do the roof the next week. Poe po doesn't like construction talk. Whenever I get to talk to him, <laughs> every single time I talked about standing up the walls, Poe po is left. Uh, <laughs> but uh yeah so that's what i've been doing trying to in between stuff so i got my backlog of movies trying to play in the challenges i don't work a lot i only work the weekends but you know then trying to get this this house built the the uh, addition on the house but uh it doesn't sound like much it's a 10 by 8 by 10 is this the size of it but when you consider our whole house is only 24 by 10 that's a third of our house added onto it again so you know if you uh, if you're living in a 3,000 square foot house that's like adding a thousand square foot to your house <laughs> we happen <laughs> to live in a 240 square foot house so adding 80 square feet is a lot <laughs> it's, it's, it is a it's it's all about percentages but uh yeah it's actually, it'll make our the house house part seem a little bit smaller because where our bed is sitting now currently, I'm going to put a wall in and that'll become a bathroom. 
and then our oh. bed is going to move out into this new room that I'm putting on. So our bedroom will be separate from the house, but we'll actually, because right now, again, for people who don't know, we use our motorhome as a closet slash bathroom. So if it's raining or snowing, we have to go outside to go to the motorhome to go in to use the bathroom. So it's, it's like a glorified outhouse, but now we're going to have indoor plumbing. Um, <laughs> oh, nice. We already have, we have a running, we have running water to our sink uh, in the kitchen, but now we'll have a, a toilet facility and a shower inside the house. Nice. So am I making any construction videos? No, there's enough videos of sweaty fat guys cussing. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that market is already filled up. Yeah, just watch uh, any of my videos if you want that. <laughs> yeah. Like seriously, like the second to last, you know, because I'm putting those uh I, I'm using two by six floor joists and I got the I'm doing it the right way. I got joist hangers and all that. The second to last freaking nail that I'm putting in the joist hangers, complete with the nail right on my I, I hit a nail, <laughs> but it was my fingernail. It just knocked the oh. shit out of my finger. Yeah. So there was there were some colorful metaphors thrown out at that maneuver, but uh, I'm like, how can I be almost done? And I knocked the crap out of my, out of my finger. But uh, yeah, no, I, I haven't even really, I didn't even take any pictures of, I should though. I should take some pictures to, to document what I'm doing. I don't know the the city might see that I'm adding on and then they'll want to charge me, charge me for it. Just, <laughs> shh, don't, don't tell the County, but I did cement, <laughs> Those cinder blocks I put, I cemented them in. So technically, yeah. that makes my house a permanent structure. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I should, I, I could be taxed on that now. So the the tough shit yeah, by know, itself is not a permanent structure. So I don't get property tax on that. Probably about five or ten years ago, I don't know when it was, my father-in-law built a pavilion on his dad's property way out in the country. Way out, I mean my wife grew up out there. There's only a couple of houses, her grandfather's house. And then the house she grew up in. And, uh, they put a pavilion out there cause they have the family reunions and stuff out there. And sure enough, somebody flew over in a helicopter or an airplane or something and tried to say, ah, we're going to charge you for this structure. And they're like, well, it's not really cemented in. So it's not a permanent structure, but I mean, they're watching that stuff, even way out in the country in the middle of the woods is where this property is, where all of a sudden it's an open field, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They... <laughs> now in, in Arizona, in my, in my house, uh, not in my house, I didn't build a shed in my house just to clarify. I built a shed and I thought, okay, I'm not going to concrete it in. I'll put it on runners and stuff. They still, I still had to pay $25 for a permit, even though it was to build the, the shed. I'm like, <laughs> really it's yeah. it's just a shed in my backyard no 25 dollars for a per out here there's yeah and technically i guess if i want to go on full full disclosure with my youtube confession um i turned my house into a permanent structure last year because i added a patio roof and i concreted the posts for that in so <laughs> yeah technically they could probably if someone ever came out here way out 12 miles out into the desert um <laughs> they can be like, your tough shed is now a permanent structure because you got two four by four posts that are cemented into the ground it's like well one chainsaw can fix that <laughs> there we go. it's no longer a permanent structure but uh yeah yeah it's it's pretty rare although my neighbor greg did have the uh sheriff's department come out to his place because they had report, he has a couple of backhoes, and they had reports that someone was using a backhoe to bury something in the wee hours of the morning. And he's <laughs> like, uh, "You can look at my backhoes over here. They're, I he winterized them, even though we haven't had much of a winter here. He winterized them, hasn't driven them in months, and it's so windy. And he was look at the dirt that's blown up against the tires. You can tell they haven't moved. And it turns out uh, one of the neighbors about." two miles from here was burying a cow that had died <laughs> oh. at three o'clock in the morning. Wow. <laughs> but the sheriff's department came back out to, to uh, my neighbor here and apologized for nice. uh, disturbing him. But uh, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty funny guy. He's like, uh, what do you think? I buried a body out here or something. And they're like, why would you say that? 
He's like, because why else would you come out here? He goes, but if and then he looked at the one, he goes, if I was going to uh, try to dispose, why would I dig a hole? I would just take off on my four wheeler over here, chop the body, body up in pieces and just chuck it out and let the coyotes <laughs> take care of it. <laughs> and the cops didn't know what to say to that. <laughs> it's like we got we got coyotes out here and wild pigs uh yeah you're wasting time if you're gonna bury a body out here just just throw it out you know shoot when my dogs died i buried them out here and they tried to dig those things up if i hadn't buried them dig deep enough they'd have dug up my dog so it's like yeah you don't have to worry about that stuff out here <laughs> anything <laughs> that dies is gone in a day yeah uh, yeah, off grid living, off grid confessions. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but no New one channel knows where coming I'm... out soon. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, nobody knows where I live unless you watch my flight sim video where I flew right over my property. So hey, there's where my house is. <laughs> Come out of town. You go here, turn left here, follow the dirt road. There's my house. Uh, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. But it is nice out here. It's quiet. But it's already getting hot, though. It's already getting hot. Did you get snow, Poe? This no. Uh, well, we're in the 50s today, so I think it was 57 today. So. Uh, is it is it supposed to get cold in the next couple of days? I thought I, I saw something about Pittsburgh's going to get some snow. It, it, it could be. I haven't even looked. So. <laughs> I haven't yeah. watched any local news. I haven't looked. Been kind of busy this weekend, so just right. haven't been keeping up. Yeah, but uh, Kelly actually mentioned something about that today. She said, I think Poe's going to get some snow here shortly. I'm <laughs> like, oh, I'm sure he's looking forward to that then. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that fine line at the end of winter, isn't it, where you're like, I'm, si I'm sick of winter, and then you get one hot day. Fuck this. Uh, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I ice. didn't put the snow shovel and ice melt away yet, but I was about ready to. So it's it's still sitting there. Yeah, that was one of my favorite things to say when I worked up in Arkansas at the grocery store. Whether it was the middle of summer or the middle of winter, people be complaining. You know, oh, it's so dang cold. I said, just give it a couple months. You guys are all going to be complaining about how hot it is. It'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> it's all going to yeah. balance out, and it just bounced from one. It's like. I get it. There's a couple months in the spring and a couple months in the fall, and we wish it would stay that way. But guess what? It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah. And uh, what was it? Uh, uh, oh my gosh! How can I not think about Samuel Clemens? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark, Mark Twain. Mark Twain. <laughs> How could I think of his real name, <laughs> but not the name everyone knows him? Yeah. What, what did he say? If it, if it wasn't for the weather, like 80% of conversations wouldn't happen because people just <laughs> talk about the weather as a random. Oh, I thought he said, I never had friends like I did when I was 12 years old. Jesus, do any of us? Yeah, right. That's oh. true. <laughs> oh, wait, that, that was stand by me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Retro Bliss mowed his grass for the first time yesterday. Oh, now it's on. It's for on. the first Don't time just... ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 he couldn't see the house anymore, so he had to get, he had to get out there and cut it. Yeah. He has a great new video out, and uh, I enjoyed that. I watched it last night about uh, arcade ports for the 2600. So tw oh. his, top tw his, his top 25. A lot of work into that one. That's a good one. <laughs> didn't, didn't they do a uh, joy uh, for controllers too, like aftermarket controllers? Or is that coming up later? Yeah, uh, they have. I think they're going to do another one. And uh, all these important, uh, serious ones I'm not invited to. <laughs> <laughs> when they do Jackass of the Month, that's when I get invited on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 good stuff though. Bliss has some good shows, some good yeah. some good stuff on there. Yeah. Unfortunately, I I don't I don't get to catch it a lot of times or I'll pop in there while I'm in the middle of other stuff and then, you know, hang out for a few minutes and then have to bail, but of course on the weekend, that's usually when you guys it seems like Greg 
Greg always streams on the weekend when I'm at work or something. Or last night, I saw Greg was going to stream. Yeah. And then I put it on, and it said one waiting and while we were getting ready for bed. And I told Kelly, I said, he has until uh, I tell Google we're going to bed because Google shuts off our whole house at night so we don't drain batteries. And uh, his show never did come on. Uh, before I went to bed. did he ever did he ever go live last night? I don't know if he did. I saw that too, and I jumped in there, and I was the only one too. And I'm like, okay, well, I I, I had things to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. It's just I'm just joking, just making jokes. <laughs> yeah, I, I just got I just got to tell you this, uh, Bliss, and I'm going to look right in the camera for this because this is serious. You got to be careful with that stuff because Mike and I. We invited Poe uh, uh, like a year ago, and he hasn't left. That won't leave. It, once <laughs> once he starts right. used to, once he gets in the habit of showing up, it's it's over. You just yeah, it's like a fungus. I don't know. You just can't get rid of it. That's squatter rights. I'm, I'm here to say say stuff to Derek. Mean stuff. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's really why we keep Poe around. He's our muscle. For when Derek gets gets too uppity, we, we sit co on him. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna unleash the po. <laughs> Derek, see now Derek types his little whatever gibberish right when I'm trying to click on a retro voice. <laughs> so then I accidentally put Derek up there, and I have to take him back down. Yeah, Poe po is like a bad cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got fluids coming out of the, all your orifice. Wait, hold on. That went in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. See, Derek, there goes the Discord server again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, just, but likely the Discord server's been the, the Derek and Chaos server, so I thought the show left. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Derek. Yeah, and you got to watch out for that, too, Uh Brett Bliss, while while we're telling, giving you warnings, uh, you can see now because I see Derek is uh, doing stuff with your Discord too. He will hold that over you at any chance. <laughs> um, when you beat him in a challenge, and you will beat him, uh, he, will, <laughs> he will come after you. See, he's a, he's admitting it. You're right. You will beat him in the challenges. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's squatter rights, though. That's serious stuff. That they ain't playing around with that stuff anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know why I bought a house. I we could. You just go pick one now. Apparently, you take one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you hear uh, Bob and Sally? They're they're out of town this weekend. We're in. <laughs> <laughs> Change the lock. Pool. It's yours. <laughs> they, they got a pool and everything. <laughs> <laughs> they come back, complain, they get arrested. It's great. <laughs> Look at, are you back? Are you are you back? Is that what you're trying to tell us that you <laughs> you left? How to say you left without telling us you left? <laughs> now we got to do the welcome back, Cotter again. Welcome back. It is a lot. Take out a on spot. Welcome back. What a good show. Welcome Did you watch that show when you were young, Mike? I don't Do you even, even know what that show is. You don't even know what we're talking <laughs> oh, about. Oh, no! You're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who? He's, what? He's young is, it, is it before Howdy Doody or what? Yeah. Oh, wow! This is a car tear. Dude, you, you don't know Bobberino? A Bob, 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 Barino. Right, that's that's where John John Travolta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Travolta, man, and then he was Bubble Boy and whatever yeah. else he was. He was a cowboy yeah. or something. Yeah, the boy in the plastic bubble, the urban cowboy, and uh, Saturday Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> but uh, it, it was all started with Bobberino. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, Vinny. Ba 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 Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Boom Boom Washington. That's right. <laughs> and Saturday Night Live did an awesome sketch years ago when Sandler was still on there. And uh, they mixed it with Pulp Fiction, where John Travolta was the host of the show. Nice. And, they, yeah, they mixed Welcome Back Carter with uh, 
Uh, with Re Reservoir Dogs is what it was. And oh, they nice. tie Mr. They tie Mr. Woodman up, and they're dancing around. They're gonna light him on fire. <laughs> Just freaking hilarious, man. <laughs> Mr. And then Woodman. Lenny and Squiggy, Lenny and Squiggy showed up in the scene too. At the end, they all have guns on each other because uh, uh, Michael McKeon was actually a regular on Saturday Night Live at the time. So they decided to throw Lenny and Squiggy in there with it. And, oh, it was awesome. <laughs> hey, and Michael McKeon, that segues right into uh, they're going to do another Spinal Tap video, uh, movie. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. There's going to be a Spinal Tap 2. Uh, they're, they're, they're just ganging up on us now for the length of our show. I don't know if you've been reading those. That segues uh, right into uh, they're going to do another Spinal Tap video. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was different. That was double barts. <laughs> yeah, where did that come from? Yeah, what what did the Bliss say? We go. He can watch NCIS and then come back, and we're still going. Uh, <laughs> Derek agreed, but we don't care what Derek said. And then uh, too true. Bliss says Mike T. They're just they're just uh, too. <laughs> wow! Every once in a while, I'm coming in. Where's that coming Chitty. from? Chitty. Mike's got his cat. <laughs> oh, maybe it's up. Oh, yeah. Now I'm easy, reaching up and touching Bart. Easy. Wait, you <laughs> there, Bart, you need a hand. <laughs> Kenny. Just keeps getting better. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Mike, you're going to have to go uh, find you some episodes of Welcome Back, Connor. Oh, man. <laughs> They even had Halloween masks back in the day. <laughs> Bobarino and Mr. Cotter. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what was his wife? Julie? Was that his wife's name? Yeah, he always had to tell her a joke about one of his uncles or something in the very beginning of the show. Yeah, he, he'd always have his joke. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great show. But, yeah. I mean, that was the 70s, right? I guess. The yeah, the 70s. Oh. My neighbor had uh, like the little vinyl dress-up dolls. You could put the different outfits. He had some of the uh, Welcome Back Cotter guys Wow. with that. And I think they had a board game, too. I can't remember what, you know, they had everything back in the day for all these shows. So, Yeah. Derek, Derek's going to stream Idiocracy on the Discord <laughs> after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. It's yeah. been a while. It has been a while. All right. Uh, so uh, what else we got going? Where are we at? We're at two hours and three minutes. So uh, we got another 45 minutes to kill. <laughs> <laughs> One more episode of NCIS and you can come back and catch our outro. I don't think uh, I've ever seen any of NCIS. I know two two Navy guys right here. So, yeah. Uh, what was the dude's name that uh, started in those shows? He was. Um. Oh, I I've can't never, think of his. He was I in that summer of... school movie or whatever it was in the eighties. That was hilarious. Right. Oh, he was. I, see, I remember that movie. Yeah. yeah. What the heck is his name? Someone will put probably. Bliss will put it up before I think about it. Yeah, I, <laughs> the only yeah I don't know. I never watched an episode of that show. Uh, so same, I, haven't seen. I, it. <laughs> I I know I know the guy you're talking about, and I know that he was in it. Mark yeah. Harmon. Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon. Um, but I, I've never watched. I've never watched an episode of it. With the summer school movie, it's friggin' hilarious. Check that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I know about is the Goth Girl, and that's. I, I think that's it, or is it another show? But I just remember <laughs> there being a goth girl in one of the episodes or something like that. So yeah. be a hacker. I have seen plenty of special victims unit because my wife watches those over and over and over again. So uh, uh, Law and Order special victims unit. Ding, ding. You know, there's a, that's always on. Right. But she also still watches Maury Povich and Dr. Phil and Steve Wilkos and those shows too. So Right. Is Maury still on? Or there that yeah, it's probably he's probably in the uh They're probably reruns, the but there's yeah, there's that's all the more. episodes are. 
there's more business for that now than ever. <laughs> <laughs> he used to do a certain shows years ago where they you had to guess whether it was a man or a woman, and they kind of put a stop to those. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have somebody come out, and people would be like, that's a man, and then you find out it's a woman, or that's a woman, and, and I haven't seen those episodes in years, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Polo, Polo made it in. Polo. Hey, Polo. Just uh, saw Godzilla X come. Very fun. How was your day? Our day was great. If you watch the last two hours and five minutes of our show, you'll find out. We talked. <laughs> we talked about it then. Um, I haven't even watched the other, the first one, the Godzilla versus Kong. From what was it? Almost two years ago, or a year and a half ago? I yeah. don't remember one. Yeah, they were good. I want to see that. Uh, was it Godzilla minus one? That one from Japan. I heard that one's really good too. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find a follow up. He's dead. Well, uh, Mike's Gaming Gala. If I'm downstairs making a video on my arcade, I can hear Maury Povich and Steve Wilkos and Jerry, Jerry going on. I say, Dr. <laughs> Phil, you know, let's get real. But, you know, but then my wife will say, Why weren't you up here watching TV with me? Why are you downstairs so long? <laughs> I already watched all those shows back in the 90s. I don't really feel like watching them now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my idea of a fun time. <laughs> right? Yeah. Although you watch those uh, Springer Too Hot for TV DVDs. Yeah, there's more there's well, some and, stuff uh, there. Sp Springer has been passed away for a little while now, but that show is still on. She's still watching them. And uh, Dr. Phil... He's actually been off of the air for new shows, but these are all like him hosting these recaps of his shows from years ago. I'm like, I know we watched this episode in 2007 after I got off from work. Why are we watching it again? There's no update on these people. They're all lunatics. Right. And half the time I get mad at, mad at Dr. Phil and not the people that are on the show. I'm like, shut up, Dr. Phil. You're rich. You don't understand these people. They're right. They're right. right. No way they're thinking. Right. <laughs> You know, what cracks me up with Springer is that what the bodyguard guy got a spinoff show. Steve, Steve, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the heck is that? <laughs> All he did was break up the fake fights, and, uh, <laughs> and he gets his own show. Steve, How does that Steve, work? Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's so hilarious. I always wonder with Springer, it. I always said, you know, it's obvious that it's all set up and everything set up. For one, they ring the bell and then they come and fight. But, <laughs> and they always have you... certain things set up for them to fight with. Like, right. uh oh, here's an entire wedding cake and the floor has plastic on it. What's right. going to happen next? <laughs> well, my point was always, even before that, how do you do this where you're like, the wife comes in and says, hey, honey, you want to go on the Jerry Springer show? It's going to be me, you, and your brother. Oh, yeah, this will be a great... I can't wait. This is going to be great for me. People in the yeah. audience, we love lesbians. We love... I can see it for my Jerry beads. Right. <laughs> right. But nothing ever for us at home. We, we couldn't see anything. They got the Jerry beads. <laughs> but nothing would ever come good of your significant other inviting you onto the Springer show. <laughs> you gave me an idea. The next time I'm on Bliss's show, I'm going to say that I'm just here for my Bliss beads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, God. Hey, honey, you want to go on the Jerry Springer show? It's going to be me, you, and the rest of the guys on your football team in high school. <laughs> It'll be fun. Sure. Am I? Are we proposing in this way, or what are we doing here? <laughs> Is this where we're finally getting married? <laughs> yeah. Do, do it. Do it. <laughs> it's a race to the bottom. It is. <laughs> That's how you get yeah. ratings. <laughs> the algorithm won't find me otherwise. I got to start getting sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Oh, it's getting hot out here again. All right. You well, can turn on your AC. It won't bother us. <laughs> yeah, I could. Well, the sun's down. I don't want to drain battery down. It was cloudy most of the day. Those are the bad days. Hot and cloudy. Hot and cloudy. Uh, 
winter time it's not so bad when it's cloudy because i i can fire up propane heat or diesel heat or something but you can't run an air conditioner on anything except for well i could i could fire up a generator and run it off of that but that's no fun <laughs> <laughs> that's no fun but i think i'm gonna head in though i we got up at four to go into work it is after eight and i gotta work in the morning so <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna call it you guys got some uh final thoughts because i think with with greg being gone if i leave you guys can't end the stream right so it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> now who has the power <laughs> <laughs> yeah because uh I don't know. I don't have any. I don't have any really final thoughts. We've been talking for two hours. I pretty much talked out everything I do. Uh, I wish I knew that the. Uh, I, I could probably look it up. I wish I knew the date, but keep an eye out. Zen Pinball is going to have that Pinball Bites episode. Where I think it's typically they have them on like Tuesday or Thursday or something like that. So maybe it maybe it'll be Tuesday. Um, look for that because they are going to announce a new game and some updates to FX. That's about nice. all the news I have. Um, and. Uh, yeah, keep an eye on the channels for uh, for stuff. Mike's got a secret secret video he's working on, and then Ninja Gaiden after that. Poe's got a whole slew of stuff mm -hmm. to get on the on the air, and uh, yeah, and I'm gonna try to hit. I'm gonna try to hit other nails instead of just my fingernails as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back in my framing. So yeah, let's see. I, uh, oh yeah, great shirt. I got my uh, Bonnie Python uh, <laughs> Easter <laughs> rabbit shirt. <laughs> it's got the. It's on the back. Well, I can't turn the chair around. I don't know. It's the Can holy hand grenade on the back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I'm wearing I'm wearing my short pants on today. With oh, Kelly, I love this. I got my short pants on with my black socks still from work. Um, no, I think I just stole your sack. Yeah. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Look out. No, I don't have a zoom. We're fine. <laughs> well, I'm getting older. My sack might be laying on the ground. <laughs> Your Easter eggs. No. <laughs> you got to do that in the Vader no. <laughs> That's not a stock. It's a space station. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to find the outro video, and we are going to cut out of here. And, uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see everybody, same bad time, same bad channel next week, Sunday yeah. night. Get your money. Get, get your, it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. All right, we're out. Peace. I, wait, that's my other stuff. Peace. I don't say that here. <laughs>